Hey, what's up guys? It's your girl Team Milan coming at you with another video. And this is about getting your this video is about getting your LLC, your business license, and your tax ID number in the state of Pennsylvania. Um, I know when before I got all my paperwork, um it seemed like because I I watch a lot of YouTube videos, um, and it seemed like I couldn't find I, I, I watch a lot of I started a business YouTube videos. And it seemed like a lot of people would tell their story, but they would gloss over like what they had to do before they started their business. Um, so if you live in Pennsylvania and particularly in Philadelphia, where I live, um, I'm going to tell you exactly what you need to get your paperwork correct. Um, and just as a disclaimer, I'm not offering any, this is not to offer anybody any legal advice or any tax advice i mean obviously if you had specific questions you would go to a tax person or you would consult in a lawyer i'm just giving you like a general basis of where you can go to get your things straight so you won't end up paying a bunch of money and just to let you know that you can do it yourself all right so a little bit of a story um before i got all my paperwork i went to like a random tax person this is a this this person was a legitimate business i mean like he had secretaries and everything like it was a it was a legit place um but at the time i just wanted to figure out like what were the things that i need to start a business so i wanted to get i know i wanted to get my loc and i know i needed a business license but i didn't know any everything else that i need so i went in here talked to a secretary secretary let me go upstairs um and I talked to the guy. He was a Spanish guy. I'm not going to give his name. Um, but I was, my basic question was, I'm starting an online business, um, a boutique, a clothing boutique, selling accessories and clothing. And what do I need to do to, what paperwork do I need to do to make my business legitimate, basically? So... He was telling me, oh, yeah, you sh you need to become incorporated. And the reason why he suggested become incorporated um, is because when it comes down to taxing, it would be taxed separately. So I work two jobs, as I stated in my other two videos. So if I was to become incorporated, um, my business would be ta taxed as a separate entity from my income from my jobs. Okay, fine, whatever. That's that's a good reason to become incorporated. However, later on when I went home and did my research, I realized like there's a lot more that goes into be becoming incorporated. And actually for somebody that's a small business, you should be LLC. That's a better fit. Um, but going back into the story. So he was like, yeah, you should become incorporated. He was telling me, um, you know, you got to get your tax ID number. You got to get your Philadelphia business license. And um, when you get your tax ID number, you have to elect for S-Corp. And S-Corp is just a way of being taxed. I'm not going to get into detail with that. I have done my research about that. Um, but this is the list of things that he suggested that I do. So I'm like, all right, cool. You know, I wasn't, I wasn't going to just write then and there, just like give him my money. Um, but I was just, I wanted to know just exactly what I needed. So I'm like, cool, whatever. So he like, yeah, um, I asked him like how much or whatever. And he was like, $900. And I Come again? $900. So I'm like, can't you do all this stuff? I can do all this stuff on my own, right? He was like, yeah, you can do it on your own, but you know, you want me to do it for you. I'm charging $900. I said, okay, cool. All right. <laughs> so <laughs> I walked out of his office. So he wrote down everything that I needed. I walked out of his office. Now, my part-time job is customer service. I work in a shoe store. It just so happened. And I know I told you, um, you guys before, if you watch my Things That Motivate Me video, I firmly believe in the law of attraction. I believe if you think it and you put action towards it, um, you know, it'll work out for you. I also believe if you think it and while you're putting action towards it, things will come in your path and it'll come in your way, you know, to guide you. 
So I probably like a week after I met with the, the tax person to talk about um the paperwork that I needed, um, I was at my job and it just so happened we have like a seasonal work or whatever and he's like into finances and stuff like that. So I'm like let me just ask you a random question. He was like, what's up? I was like, so is it better if I just like file for an LLC or I should become incorporated because I'm like kind of on the fence. Like I wasn't really sure at that point. So he was like, he gave me like a little, you know, gave me like a little knowledge. And he was like, yeah, you should really become an LLC. It just so happened at that moment, at that time that I asked him that random question, a customer was being rung up and she was a lawyer and her boyfriend, um, he owned a business. <sighs> what are the odds, right? So they was just like talking, talking, talking. And her boyfriend was a hater, to be honest with you. Like if it wasn't for him, I probably could have probed more information out of her at that moment because you can tell like she really wanted to talk about it. But he just was like, all right, come on, let's go. Because it was holiday time and I guess they probably was like out holiday shopping or whatever. Um, so anyway, she was a lawyer and she was like, yes, small businesses is best for you to become LOC. That's the gist of the story. I mean, we was talking for like a good five or couple minutes or whatever. Um, but the gist of the story is that she was like, yes, it's better to become LOC. So I'm like, all right, cool. I'm going to become, I'm going to get an LOC. So I started like researching it, researching it, researching it, researching it. I swore I never... I just couldn't find like how exactly to do it. And I'm like, I'm gonna have to pay somebody to do it. Like, uh, so I ran across this video. It's, it's so funny how things happen. Like I swore I YouTube how to get an LOC and this video never popped up. But anyway, I YouTubed again, how to get, a, 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 how to get an LOC and um, this video popped up and this guy, he tells you step by step how to do it in Pennsylvania. And I will put a link in my bio. So, or the description rather, so you guys can reference it. Um, but he gives you step by step. He shows you where to get your trademark at. He shows you the website you go to because you can get it. You can get your LLC, you can mail it in or you can do it online, but clearly it's better and it's easier to just do it online um in pennsylvania it's only 125 different states vary in the prices but this is just for pennsylvania it's 125 and um he also goes into he explains like some of the terminology believe me it's really not hard it's really 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 not hard you really can do it yourself like it's not hard you can google some of the terminology and figure out what they're talking about it's really not hard the only thing i will say if you're running like a business where it's construction or real estate or you're you're open up a practice or you're opening up like a you're going to be a tax person, you're going to be doing people taxes, or you open up like a law firm. There are certain options that you have to pick, but he explains that. Um, and you can also, like I said, you can also look up the terminology, anything, you know, when you're answering the questions and just figure it out from there. It's really not hard at all. So when you get your, when you file for your LLC online, you just fill out a couple questions or whatever, and then you pay your money using your card or whatever and you submit it and they get back to you in like a week a week and a half they don't really work they're like regular the people that view um the applications they work monday through friday so it's it goes by business days i think i did mines on like i don't know i must have did mine on a thursday and then it was saturday and friday they probably looked at it i don't know then it was saturday sunday and then like that monday was a holiday but anyway i got mine back like that next wednesday or thursday like it it really was not that that, that big of a deal so i got the approval for that and then they send it to you they ask you do you want it sent by mail or do you want the approval sent by your email it's best to do it by email because it's quicker if you send it by mail it's going to take a couple weeks um, so then after that, I got my tax ID number. Now, I know people that go to like, um, let other people get their tax ID number for them and they charge you like a $30 fee. I'm here to tell you that your tax, to get your tax ID number, it's free. It's free and it's a very simple, painless 
easy process. Like you literally go online again, you answer a couple questions and they give you your text ID number right then and there. Um, I would say when you're doing it, make yourself accessible to a printer because you will have to print out things like right then and there. Um, but other than that, like it's a very simple, painless process. It's really not, it's, <laughs> it's so funny. Like that guy really was trying to get me to become incorporated, which I didn't need to do. And he really was trying to like finesse $900 out of me. And like when I did my research and I really like researched like LLC versus incorporated and like different ways of being taxed and I researched just different things like me becoming incorporated was just not really the best thing to do. Like I would, it, it's so much to be incorporated. And if you're a startup business and you're a small business, it's, you have no business being incorporated. Like you might as well just be an LLC. It's easier on you. Um, and what else? Oh yeah. And your business license. So, um, for your business license, if you're in, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Um, if you go downtown to the Municipal Service Building, MSB Building for short, um, all you have to do is go to License and Inspection. You go up to the lady. Oh, let me tell you a quick story about that too. So I went to L&I licenses, licenses and Inspection and I go down there and the lady is like, she's very, she's not, she's rude, but she like funny, but she like an older lady and she kind of talk like really just, she, she a little rude. Yeah. She was kind of rude, but she was funny though. Um, but you know, if you just go down there, you go to the clerk and be like, Hey, I'm here to get my business license. They're going to, they're going to ask you what type of license do you want? What kind of business is it? you know, stuff like that. And they'll give you the application for it. Then they say, fill out for it. And then head over to this line or whatever. Again, another painless, simple process. Now, I will say, if you have a special business like construction or you're doing real estate or, um, I don't know, law firm or taxes, whatever, if you have like a special kind of business, certain businesses require certain licenses. But, if you just go down to L&I and state what type of business you have, they will tell you all the licenses that you need. For me, I only have an online... Oh, excuse my nose, y'all. It's been a little rough this week. Um, but for me, I have an online boutique. So I only needed to get a basic business license. Um, and you need your business license in, in order to operate a business in Philadelphia. So, um, and they call it a commercial activity license and it's free and it does not expire. I don't have to renew it every year. It goes on and on and on and on. So I got that. I was in there all of maybe an hour. I, if I probably would have went first thing in the morning, I probably would have been in and out in like a half hour. I was, I went like midday. I was in there all of an hour and it didn't even seem like an hour. Um, so yeah, so if you guys, I hope this helped you guys actually, because I, like I said before, like I've looked up people, looked at people videos that started a business and they just like really didn't go into detail on all the proper paperwork that they had to get. So I hope that this helped you guys. If you have any questions, leave it in my comments. I will reference um, the video that I watched to help me get my LLC and my tax ID number. I will put that in my description. Um, and if you guys can just like and subscribe my page, that'll be awesome. <laughs> Until we meet again, friends. Bye.